All right, I've got to decide what size I'm going to make my figure. I've got two different uh, sizes that I could go by. I could go by this uh, two foot in, two foot tall figure, which would be a, make it a lot easier to do his face and everything. But quite honestly, this would probably be the size I'd have to settle for. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make a uh, armature for each. And if I don't use this one, I'll set it aside. And if I use this one, I'll have it all made. Anyway, I'll be back in just a few. Bye. Time to play with some clay. Okay, this is the uh, wood I'm going to put him on for the base, and uh, I've screwed this piece of wood at the bottom into the uh, log to hold it in place, and now I've just got to anchor it to the uh, base that he's going to be sitting on, and uh, i got to leave enough room for his feet, and uh, so I'm doing that right now. What I'm going to do is I want to get this set up first and have him sit on it and see which uh, armature works best for this. So, I'll be right back when I get this attached. Well, it's that time of year. The landlord's out there mowing the lawn. What I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and paint the log to stabilize the wood as well as uh, make it the color of the uh, clay so that uh, I don't have to do this later on. I love this piece of wood. I did some research into what gopher wood would look like, and it looked a little bit like this. This isn't gopher wood, this is a cedar, I think. They use it for fence posts, and this may have been what this was used for. I found it out at the dump, and it was a great piece of uh, wood, and I cut it down on my saw. So I figure he might sit on an old piece of uh, wood that has already been cut. And uh, one part of it is already being used. And uh, he's just sitting on the remnants of that to uh, take a look at uh, his model and study it before he gets really into it. His model probably was, would have been at first like a blueprint, but uh, I don't know, for the ark. Now, there's an ark down in uh, Kentucky, I think. Yeah, and it's a huge monstrous thing. I, I watched the movie, The Bible, 1964, I think, was the year that movie came out. John Huston uh, directed it and starred in it as Noah. <laughs> and uh, the Ark was uh, really small compared to what the Ark would have been in that movie. That movie was uh, didn't have the budget to make a full-size model of the Ark, I'm sure. I better get this model out of the way so I don't uh, paint it. There we go. This video is not going to have much on it today because I'm not going to show how to make the armature. I'm just going to show the aftermath of it and uh, how to 
scale it and everything like that, which I've already done. I have, I do, I cover all this in my instructional videos on sculpting and the ones that I use for, are made for making big, uh, human figures. The, uh, Instructional videos are, of course, dealing with Western subjects, but quite honestly, uh, you can apply what I show in that for anything that you'd want to sculpt, no matter what the subject, if it was human or even animal. I show how to do horses and a dog, I think. I can't remember. I don't think I did a dog. I made it. I showed you how to make an armature for a dog. But I don't think I've actually sculpted a dog on video. Anyway, I'll put a link to a, a review of my nine instructional videos. And uh, you can buy all nine of them. And uh, you get three extra ones free. The wire that I uh, use for making an armature for this size, um, standing figure would probably be one a little thicker wire, but since it's going to be sitting down, it'd be a lot easier to make it out of this wire. This is aluminum wire that I got off of uh, Amazon. And I'll uh, put the product number on there, or you can just look it up on Amazon for armature wire and uh, they've got it listed in there all right I'm just anchoring this uh, partial armature I'm not done making the armature yet but I'm anchoring it to the log the paint is taking forever to dry today and uh, so I'm working with paint that isn't dry what I've done is I put two uh, three-inch screws into the uh, log to uh, anchor him to the log. And uh, i got to figure out what I'm going to do here. Now, I was going to have this leg out like this and this leg up and kind of stretched out like that and I'm gonna anger angle this log let me see I've got my little model right here all right, I'm gonna bring that leg in like that, and this leg will be going out like this. There'll be ground that he's gonna be on, so the feet are actually gonna be about that high off the ground. But I'm just working this out right now. Okay, I'll put a piece of clay underneath here so I can get him at the right height for the leg. And this leg here. All right, I'm just going to start putting clay on so I can put the uh, head on, the head armature. I want to get these, uh, this area down here solidified as well. Now, anyway, this is, uh, the way I'm going to start it. I'm going to come back tomorrow and, uh, work on it a little longer. This log is not dry yet, the uh, paint. And so I can't work on it until the damn paint gets dry.
All right. That's the beginning. I'm glad I went ahead and painted that log because it's hard to do that after you've uh, sculpted around it. Well, we'll see what it looks like when I get uh, going on it. It may not uh, work out at all, but uh, you always have that possibility. All right, everybody. See you next time. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.